Okay, welcome to another episode of Maintenance Monday with the Sailing Doodles. Today, what we're gonna handle is the shower pump. The shower pump has been intermittent for a long time. It's not the water, not the shower water coming out, but it's the drain to the shower has been, uh, it'll work sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, and then I, I metal mess with the pump and all that. But I think the problem is, air gets in the in the in the in the in the in the line and so it vapor locks and so the pump is not strong enough to pull water from down at the very bottom all the way through and fill up that vapor so hopefully gonna reroute some plumbing and maybe that'll fix it i don't know before we get too far along into the boring stuff here's some footage from when we went snorkeling in the british virgin islands those are the indians and are really good snorkeling Okay, back to the plumbing issue. What we have been doing instead of shower pump is kind of gross, so I will show you that. So that is the shower drain uh, basin for the shower. And what we've been doing is just lifting this up like so. Uh, we've been scooping the water and just dumping it in the toilet and flushing it out. It's kind of gross and not ideal. So let's fix that. In the forward V-berth, this is the shower pump right here. This is the input line from the shower and then that's the discharge line. Um, as you can see, there's the inline filter and it just comes straight up here. So when you lose pressure from this side, the water will just go back down in there. So this whole hose fills up with water and I don't think this pump is strong enough to pull all that air and water up through. So we're going to put a little like a little P-trap in there uh, so the water stays in the hose. We may have to put in some new hose for that. But first, some more snorkeling. There were actually some really pretty fish there too. So a lot of these fittings uh, that have been on there so long, I mean, I just can't get off. So sometimes you have to cut them off. Taking the clamp off of that, but as try as I might, twist it, turn it, I can't get it off. So I am going to cut it off. So I'm gonna use about two and a half lengths what this old one was, just so I can put a proper P in it. And then uh, kind of the cool thing about clear is that I can see if it's got any water in it, so it makes it easier to kind of maintain. So the water comes out of there, through the filter, down below the pump, and up that way. So that way, water always stays in that lower level, and so that way the pump has a good suction to start with. But before I tighten everything down and, and screw bolt everything down, I want to fill this lower section with water so that the pump has something to use. Well, I am stumped because that did not fix the problem. The discharge side there loops around and it goes actually up to about deck level. So once that output gets to about deck level, um, then it goes out. So what I'm thinking is maybe just this pump isn't strong enough to, if there's any kind of air in the system, it's not strong enough to prime that pump by pumping that air out against that back pressure of the water that's, you know, three feet. So three feet of water pressure, and I've just got like the, I bought the cheapest pump I could get. It's only a two gallon per hour per minute pump. So I'm thinking it just is not strong enough to uh, in one suck air to prime and push out that back pressure of water that's in the um, in the vent and the um, in the output line. So, but you guys are all pros, so tell me what I did wrong, and please give me advice down in the. Uh, comment section see what I did wrong I don't know I'm thinking it's I don't have enough strong enough pump you tell me and click like and subscribe too thanks well thank you for watching another episode of maintenance Monday with the sailing doodles be sure to check out our regular full-length episodes coming out every Thursday and of course we do a live chat every Sunday afternoon where we can answer all your questions if you like what you see please just consider becoming a patron and go to sailingdoodles.com thank you